Hello, so in this example let's check wall layers and how to modify them. So let's go to uh, Revit, let's select wall fragment and let's press edit type. So from edit type I select structure and program opens uh, another settings which gives you possibility to change the layers of your wall. So in this location, in the top area, you can see some basic information about your wall, some uh, coefficients, calculation of thickness and other parameters. And uh, in the uh, lower part, you can see this table, which gives you possibility to modify all the layers. So top part is exterior part and the bottom part is interior part. So when you put your layers, you should uh, pay attention to these sides. Uh, the main core part, in most cases, it's structure material, which is the core of your uh, wall. And uh, you should use here structure object. Uh, you can select uh, material, which is your structure material. You can put thickness of your structure material. And also, if it's structure uh, material, so you put check mark here, structure material. Sometimes if you put a lot of layers, uh, some layers cannot be outside your core boundary and the program will give you some uh, announcement what this layer cannot be outside the core boundary. If I put some membrane layer and uh, let's say I put it up, I press OK it works, but if I make some combinations, it sometimes gives you the description what this layer cannot be in, in this location. So you just move these layers down to the core boundary and uh, it should work nice like that. So it's easy to implement any additional layer. You just press insert, you move it to the right position. Let's say this one will be finished. One. And from function, you should select what function you have in your layers. So first, structure material is for structure objects. Substrate, if you have some substrate which uh, is sand or other parts and uh, which is not bearing part, just substrating. So you use substrate. Thermal air layer for insulation materials and air layer in your walls or other constructions. Finish 1, finish 2. Sometimes you have uh, two different finish layers, so you can use two different uh, finish layers, finish 1 or 2, uh, or you can combine it and the connection with other uh, constructions will depend which finish layer you selected. So first will connect with first, second one will be from hierarchy uh, lower value than finish one. And membrane layer. Membrane layer is uh, thickness zero and uh, it's for the all the membranes which you use in, in your constructions. Also you can change wrapping settings from here Let's say I don't want to wrap my thermal material, so I uncheck it. And also I don't wrap my, let's say, membrane layer, so I can check this settings here. Other settings which you can find here also gives you possibility to change wrapping settings. So you can do it from here, or also you can do it from mm, type properties. Next, more complicated. Uh, settings are when you put in section mode and all these modification settings uh, uh, is now active and you can change and put additional objects like you see this wall element is implemented here you can put additional elements on the top you can put some uh, sweeps reveals to the wall and you can make a lot of modifications to the wall so you need to spend some time, practice, play with this full settings uh, and if it gets 
very hard so you just uh, close and start from beginning also you can read more in the help section it gives nice help tips how to modify and work with all these parameters okay so I inserted some additional layers and from here let's say uh, that's all I press OK OK and my wall is the additional finish layer in outside position.